Waltz, Republican Mike Waltz, former Green Beret commander, on top of this today, and also Kabul. I'll get to that in a moment. Sir, good morning to you. Do, do, you, do you see this Mexican government willing to allow the American government to help them in, in some capacity go after the cartels? Well, Bill, I, I think we need to send a very clear message that we're going to go after the cartels one way or another. We sent that same message in Colombia in the 90s. Uh, eventually, the Colombian government got on board uh, and we dismantled the Cali and Medellin cartels. I've introduced a bill to authorize military assets, not talking troops on the ground, but we're talking cyber, space, intelligence, special operations targeting. These cartels have declared war on us. We cannot, hand, we cannot tolerate a narco-terrorist state controlling our border uh, that controls 30 to 40 percent of Mexico. Oh, by the way, we need to go on offense and uh, use every asset that we have to start dismantling and taking them down. Let's see whether or not the administration agrees with you in time. Next topic here, family detentions. Uh, for the past two years, I believe, the, the policy of this administration has been to keep the families together and not hold them in holding facilities once they cross the border. That may change. You think the administration will do that? And if so, what's the effect of that? I, you know, I, I think they are in a, at a point now where despite uh, all of their political misgivings, they have to go back to policies that work, whether that's remain in Mexico, extending Title 42, or sending a message to migrants that everyone will be, uh, everyone will be detained uh, is, is a deterrence policy that we have to get to. This is not sustainable. Okay. Now, you were about to go into a hearing 35 minutes from now. Yep. I believe it's the very first one, is it, after the uh, pullout of Kabul and the chaos that the world watched? Um, you're a veteran yourself. What will you accomplish in this hearing? Well, this is going to be a voice, Bill, for those grassroots veterans organizations and including the soldiers that were there. You're going to hear today from a sniper who, one, believes he had the suicide bomber in his sights, Bill, and wasn't allowed to take the shot. Uh, he's, they're going to talk about how they saw the Taliban executing dozens and dozens of Afghans just feet in front of their uh, position and how the Afghans themselves tragically were literally throwing themselves on the barbed wire to kill themselves rather than to face the Taliban. And for the grassroots organizations like Task Force Pineapple that stood up and were chartering planes, getting people out, answering these calls, you're going to hear the frustration and the betrayal that they felt from the State Department who wasn't doing, uh, wasn't doing their job. Uh, and for so many of us, me included, who turned my entire office into an operations center to help these people, you're also going to hear that it's still ongoing. Uh, and at the current rate, it's going to take 18 years to get everybody out the pe that, pro that we promised who stood and fought with us. Uh, and and this, is about, this is about the American people truly hearing what happened from people on the ground. Yeah, I guess it's one thing to wind down a war, and granted, it was almost 20 years on. It's another thing to throw everybody in the back of a C-17 and get out of town, right? But they didn't. But they, they threw a lot of people in the back of C-17s, but they left over 80,000 of our allies who stood and fought with us. And the Taliban right now, using data that we left behind, biometrics, fingerprints, registries, are hunting them down and killing them as we speak, right now as we speak, in addition to uh, so many others that we didn't get out. So we got the wrong people out and left our allies uh, behind. Uh, so the COVID hearing is now underway. Your hearing begins in 35 minutes. We'll look for headlines out of it when it begins. Thank you, sir. Michael Waltz, the Republican out of Thanks. Florida.